What's up everyone? It's Doug here with Mojo Break Media and MojoBreak.com. We're here in our Santa Clara card shop to talk about what I've been buying over the past few months. I wanna go over my top five favorite card purchases over the last few months. Looking at these from an appreciation aspect. These are some cards that I feel are staple PC cards and are undervalued. The first one is the 1980 Johnson Bird Dr. J PSA 7. It's a rookie card, dual rookie card, probably only one in, of its kind with two top 10 pros of all time. This card carries a PSA pop report of 2724, meaning there's only 2724 at that grade. The, the PSA 8 is very similar. This card was purchased a little over $1,700. I absolutely love this card and have several of them. Uh, once again, the PSA 8 is very close in pop as well. Next one is a hockey icon. 2005 Upper Deck Sidney Crosby Young Guns. It's his most sought after rookie card. The hobby looks at Sidney Crosby as the LeBron of hockey. There's extremely low amount of on this pop report of only 744. Most folks might have been grading via BGS on these, but I prefer the PSA slab for rookie base cards. We purchased this one for about $2,100. We feel real comfortable with that price, especially based on his accomplishments. Arguably put him right behind Gretzky already. Then the Gretzky, as we know, just sold the OPG rookie sold for over a million dollars. Uh, the 2005 is also a very storied class with a Vetchkin as well, and we're keeping our, our, our eye on those as well. Sweetness is the next one, 1976 Walter Payton rookie PSA 8. This carries a pop report of 2,583. We purchased this one for 1240, widely regarded as the best of all time. Design is amazing as well. One of my favorites and a staple to anybody's PC who collects football cards. Fourth card, 1996 Allen Iverson PSA 10. Carries a pop of 1,172, known for transcending the game with his swag. Iverson was one of the most pop polarizing characters in the game. We purchased this one for $385. 1996-97 Tops is iconic set with Kobe and Steve Nash rookies as well. Kobe's have skyrocketed. I feel this one is a bargain based on Kobe's prices. Lastly, we have the 1970 Pistol Pete Maravich Tallboy PSA 7. Carries a low pop of under 500. We purchased this one for $960. This card is so cool to look at. Bigger in design as it is a tall boy, uh, but Pete has a storied career and honestly one of the smoothest ball handers of all time. To end this off, a few tips when you're buying some of these cards is to look at the slabs. I prefer to have the newest version of the PSA slab with the hologram. As you know, there's a lot of counterfeits of some of these cards that do float out there, so I would look at feedback from the buyers, see if they've sold cards similar to this, match it on the pop report. You can take that number, look at the pop report, and a lot of times PSA will show you some of the data of where it has went, like it's changed hands when it's sold and stuff like that, which is an awesome feature on PSA. Um, also, a great feature about PSA is you don't have to be a member to look at their pop reports. So it's it's very uh, informative to look at these pop reports because you're looking at like Zion's and Luca's and some of this new stuff. They've got pop reports of 8, 9, 10K. Well, we're looking at some of these older cards that have very, very few on the pop report. So that's it for now. This is Doug with MojoBreak.com. If you're looking for some wax, we've got our shop here in Santa Clara, which is MojoBreakShop.com. We also ship across the world. And as far as getting in some modern day breaks, go to MojoBreak.com.